Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Horizon Zero Dawn issue 3. Now, I think that this might be the last time that I review this because I'm not finding the comic very interesting at the moment. And to be honest, I think that if I kept going with them, I think I'd just be a bit bored. So I think what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm only going to be collecting the issue covers that I really like and I think that's roughly kind of about it. So I'm going to review this one and I think this is just literally going to be about it. Even looking at the back like comic reviews, the comic does a great job setting up for the world, establishing the great mythology, Bleeding Cool. Very stylized, solid platform to launch the series. Big comic book page. Issue 1 was a delight. They, there will be plenty of fans to sink their teeth into wait for the next game, Flickering Myth. And then, yeah, so, but I, I don't think so. I think they're trying to be like, hey, this is a great comic. You should read it. But for me, this, I'm not happy. Um, so I'm just going to get like covers like that. I think look really nice, but I think I'm just going to be cutting down and just buying them what I want. But yeah, I'm going to jump into it. If you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And let's just jump straight into it. This comic leaves off exactly how it was. And that was mainly because you had Tal, she was kind of protecting this guy. I can't remember his name, so I apologize. Uh, if, it, yeah, if I can't remember a, a single person's name, then I'm like, uh, with this, like all the other guys like saying, hey, there's a bounty on his head. We need to get him. We need to kind of make sure that, you know, we can take him in and, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And they're all kind of looking and they're about to give like the story on why they're looking for him until he grabs Tal's arm and they jump straight into the river. In this one, he tries to save her and say, hey, I'm going to help you. But Tal decides to take it and go, no, I'm going to swim around uh, and, you know, we can talk about this. And it feels like she's like, no, I don't need anyone to help me. I'll get myself out of this mess in the first place type thing. Amidus, that's his name. So Tal and Amidus are now talking about how and what's been going on and like how did he get into the situation how did he is it the reds i think it's like yeah it's like the red raids um so the red raids when they began and stuff like you had this group and they were kind of like taking everyone out and killing people and he couldn't handle it he saw like a i think this princess or this uh his friend or something being killed and he didn't like it and that's, he tried to kind of save her but this other person suddenly like says, no, leave her alone. He meets a girl called Nessa and she has basically taken on the Mulan effect where she is kind of like dressed up to look like a man so she could serve in the army so that you new know, things can go on. And that's fine. Um, it's just a kind of a, it, it reminded me of a Mulan thing, which I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So in all this, like Nessa and uh, Amos are trying to make sure that no one else gets hurt. So diverting people away saying oh we need to go this way when this doesn't happen which is fine but to me it was more kind of a eh thing but you see that they kind of fall in love and that's fine it's just you know it's a story that i didn't kind of think would pop up so early on we get a bit of a fight between this kind of general as well as armis and he the general gets uh, killed because he tries to take armis down but it kind of reverses and armis kills him they kind of start talking or before and it was a plot that this entire whole like raid was going to happen and kill a lot more people etc etc and you see that Nessa has been killed and thus therefore Armidus is really kind of pissed off about it and he's kind of hurting quite a bit. So Armis has been uh, running away and making sure that he can't be kind of like picked up by anyone else so that's why Bounty's on his head. Tal turns around and says like you know it's not your fault um, and then kind of gives a bit of a backstory on how she didn't want to become like her father but she became her father in a way. You know, it shows her hunting, it shows her killing the machines, and it, it goes all the way through, which is kind of a nice backstory, but you kind of get a bit bored because it feels like this was either happening very beginning-wise or you can understand it a tiny bit more. Out of nowhere, one of the machines that was hunting them comes into the cave, they kill it, it's pretty much fine. They then kind of go around now and they find out that there is a cauldron, there is a sealed door that they can't go through it because obviously they need... Um, Aloy to do it and stuff like that and they're starting to leave the area because there's nowhere else to go they can't go out through the front way so they're gonna try and find a way out but what they do in this one now is that they hear these like guards coming in and they try and turn back and on the last kind of page one of the giant turtle kind of mech things like just comes out of nowhere it's kind of like surfaces and they're like oh we we, we can't get out of this one what are we what are we gonna do what are we gonna do 
and that's it that's the entire thing and and to me i'm pretty much bored of this already uh there isn't anything that is kind of really standing out to me. Like, I'm not going like, hey, I kind of really want to watch this. I kind of really want to do things. So I tend to kind of like, I'm, I'm a bit bored. So from now on, like, I'm not going to be ordering tons of these comics. I'm just going to be getting the covers that I kind of like and kind of framing them. And that's about it. The, the It's nice to get kind of backstory for this one. But for me, I just kind of felt a bit bored. Like, you know, it feels like, you know what the storyline is? but then you, you don't, it feels like you don't at the same time. That's how I'm kind of reading it. So if anyone likes this, that's really cool. But I think from now, I wanted to give this a go. I didn't want to just stop on issue one or issue two. I wanted to give it to the issue three to see if I kind of liked it. I'm, I'll probably read it, but I won't be making videos on it. Um, but yeah, so just getting the covers that I like. But I'm gonna leave it there. What are your thoughts on this comic? Do you like Horizon Zero Dawn, the, the comic? Or do you kind of like, don't like it? Do you agree with the, some of the statements that's on the back of the comic just to make you go like, oh wow, this must be a really good one. I'm gonna leave it there, yeah. <laughs> just jump straight in. Yeah, what do you think about it? I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching again. I keep saying it, and I'll catch you in the next video.